G'day guys, today we're having a look at another Maxpedition product. This is the Volta, V-O-L-T-A, it's spelt Volta battery case. And the one I've got here is in my usual colour of foliage green. Of course it's available in the, the usual range of colours from Maxpedition. So uh, this is a colour to suit everyone really. The idea of this one is that it is predominantly designed, as mentioned, as a battery carrying case for spare batteries and that type of thing. So we'll just have a quick look, before we dig into it, we'll just have a quick look at the overall size, which I haven't actually measured up myself at this point. So it's just under 5 inches long. Width is about 3 and a quarter. Thickness, you're looking at around about an um, inch and a half with the insert in it, which we'll get to in a moment. As always with Maxpedition products, good construction. It's made out of the, uh, the nice denim material. Flaps of Velcro closure on this one. You see the nice big run of Velcro, front and top, little flap on there to grab it, the match position logo. All the stitching is really nice, drain hole down the bottom, and at the rear we've got three columns of webbing, of uh, molly webbing. So you can use this with tack ties or, or similar if you wanted to mount it to a pack or use belt loops, whatever you wanted to do with it. So we'll dig in there, you can hear it rattling away, and they've got some batteries in the case. When you open up, this is the insert that comes with it. Now, you can see there's a clear section and a dark section, and they are actually moulded exactly the same, and they just clip together. Predominantly, it's designed to suit um, AA batteries. It can also be used for CR123s, but I don't have any use for them. And we open it up here, you can see it holds four AA batteries, nice and neat. Not too much rattling. The reason I had a bit of rattling there before is this one I've got AAA batteries in. They do rattle pretty bad. On the upside, you can fit six of those in there. At the moment, the reason I'm running this with two different types of batteries is that I've got some of my kit things like pen lights and that type of thing. I'll need some triple A's and some double A's. Not for much longer though. The bag this is going to go in, which will be my get home bag, the bag that'll stay in my car for my contingency items, everything in there will be um, double A batteries. So, what I'll do is I'll store eight double A's in here. Now, some people, what they'll do is only store the batteries on one side, maybe use the other side or this side, whichever, for um, expired batteries, dead batteries. I prefer to have all good batteries new, and any batteries that I wear out, I'll just throw them into the bottom of the pack for clean up later on. But having that, that eight spare batteries will be a really good thing. The other thing you can use this case for, well, I mean, the sky's the limit, really, it depends on your imagination. Um, people I've, I know have put Altoid tin survival kits in them, saying a belt mount them. You could use it for compact camera. And again, you put your tack ties on to belt mount that. I've seen people using these for mobile phones, some of the newer generation mobile phones. So really, it's just one of those um, simple little things that you can use for any manner of tasks. If you do want to belt mount this, probably the best way to go is to get some tack ties. These are the three inch tack ties. Very easy to know which tack ties you want. They're usually threes or fives, one of the majority of things. Each one of those rows there is an inch. So on this one, it's three inch. For those who've never used these, very simple. What you do is you, the non-buckle end, you have the fat tag facing towards you, start down the bottom, you slip that up behind all the rows of the molly, like so. And when you finish, you pull that all the way through. So you should end up with the Maxpedition tag at the top, like that. And basically, if you wanted to belt mount it, you could, I guess, just um, put that through like so, make sure you get that tail through, and it will catch like that. For the majority of um, civilian type belts, that would probably work on webbing belts, that type of thing. But for a civilian belt, what I'd recommend you do, and I've done this now on my EDC pocket organizer, finally lashed out and bought some tack ties. Go back underneath the bottom one, come back out, and again, making sure you go through the buckle. Get that tail nice and secure, and you'll find that, that will fit a normal lever type belt quite securely. And you just probably put one there, one on the other side. It's one I prepared earlier, I'm not going to mount it up now. And that'll be perfectly useful for belt carry. Even though I plan to basically have this inside a max position pack, which I've purchased, I might even consider leaving these tack ties on there. Just, um, you never know, you might want to mount it to the pack, you might want to mount it to a belt for some reason. It's not like there's any weight or it takes up any space, and it's just kind of a contingency idea. So they're very cheap, those tack toys. They come in packs of four. It's no big uh, deal to buy yourself a few, uh, few of those just for, for use of these items. Anyway, 
I've rambled on probably long enough. I think for what it is, it's a, it's a good item, very versatile, and it's sitting around me to um, organise my battery storage just a little bit better than what it has been. And I so say once I get um, all double A, it'll be perfect. I'll have eight spare ones in there, and I'll get rid of that routing problem. I think it's a, a great little addition to my kit. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Bye for now.